what type of scenes are going to be filmed here for the Power Rangers? Uh, yeah, a lot of it takes place in the last uh, act of the story, so it's going to be uh, uh, action-packed, and uh, because there are a lot of CG effects, computer graphic effects that need to be added into the film, that's kind of what we're using downtown Kamloops uh, for. Uh, we will be, uh, Kamloops will um, play part of a fictional California town called Angel Grove, which is the town that they created uh, back in 1993 when the Power Rangers TV series first aired. And um, I guess the easiest thing to say without giving too much away is that uh, Angel Grove will be under attack. Uh, by uh, some of the uh, very uh, some of the well-known um, creatures that uh, have appeared in the Power Rangers series over the years. What we need to do in downtown is shoot what we call plate shots. Okay, so these are you know we won't have we'll have loads of extras who have all been cast locally, but we won't have any main cast members down there. And it's going plate shots are basically shots of you know, um, uh, streets, buildings, whatever, that will be put into uh, the uh, scene when we uh, create the uh, the, uh, the uh, CGI effects for the film. Will there be uh, some street closures during the filming? Yeah, yes, there will. There will be detour, uh, detours. Uh, the city has already sent out uh, a list, uh, a daily breakdown. We will be shooting six days in downtown Kamloops, April 13th, 14th, 15th. And then Sunday, 17th, 18th, 19th. So we decided to go six consecutive days as opposed to uh, over the course of the two and a half or three weeks, the production will be there uh, doing it sporadically. We felt the best way to do it was to do it uh, consecutively. So I know that we will start around 4th and Victoria. We will be in that area. Uh, all the businesses will still be open. Pedestrian traffic will not be blocked. Uh, we will have detours for vehicular traffic. Roughly how many extras did you guys end up hiring? Uh, they had a call, I believe, of about 400 folks who showed up on April 2nd. So each day, uh, there'll be different amounts. I know that we have one of our bigger days, 150 people, uh, will be down there, um, uh, running away from something. The other thing I will say is that, uh, you know, uh, uh, we thank Kamloops for, you know, allowing us this opportunity to come down. My understanding is that Kamloops is a very, very busy area for filming, but not the city necessarily. I believe this is the first feature film to ever shoot in downtown Kamloops. So, uh, sort of historic, you know, and, uh, I, I'm sure we will, you know, I think our second unit crew is about a hundred. So, you know, the, the footprint is there. And uh, as people, you know, mill about downtown uh, over the next several days for lunch or, or work or whatever it is, they'll certainly see us there. And I think they'll find us uh, uh, a, a great um, uh, curiosity, so to speak, to watch how this process comes together. Up close and personal. Thank you very much for the time. Appreciate it. We look forward to seeing you in Kamloops. That was Ernie Malik, media spokesperson for the new uh, Power Rangers movie. He was uh, speaking with Doug Herbert there. Um, perhaps nobody is more excited in Kamloops about the Power Rangers coming to town than Mike Lukopoulos. He is a big fan of the TV series. He's going to be in the movie. We called Mike up this morning as he was getting ready at home before his big debut as, a, as an extra. You know what? Never in a million years would I thought that I'd be an extra in a movie in Kamloops, let alone for a franchise that uh, I've been following since I was a young one. So in a way, I guess dream come true, quote unquote. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You know what? Just other than I have to be there by a certain time, show up looking a certain way, you know, just very casual, you know, like young person look. They've told me nothing about the story. They're very tight-lipped about everything, which in a way is good because I don't want any spoilers at the end of the day. <laughs> well, they had um, a, an open extras casting call a couple weeks ago here in town. Showed up. I was one of the first people there. I showed up an hour early because I'm thinking, well, I have no idea what this is going to be, but I know I don't want to wait all day. So <laughs> get there, fill out the paperwork. They took a couple photos, and then they uh, sent me an email uh, end of last week there. So, yeah, pretty straightforward process. I thought it was going to be a lot more lines or, you know, memorizations. No, nothing like that. It was pretty straightforward. Uh, they told me expect to be there all day, so I'm booking it as an all day. <laughs>